This video provides information on how to configure the Holiday Coral Acta Dongle, which is a Intec Pro compatible unit with Madrix. There is some additional configuration that is required to make this work. Let's first start off by identifying the COM port that this particular Acta Dongle is connected to. We can see that it is showing up here as COM18. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just do a simple test using X lights. We've gone ahead and set up DMX output for COM18 on all 512 channels. And what I'm going to do is go over here to schedule and test. And by the way, we do have this as an additional video on our website. And X lights is an excellent free application for doing your testing. So I'm going to connect to the COM18. I'm just going to go ahead and say select all. I'm going to go to RGB cycle. And we're going to turn it on. And you can see right now that we're going through red, green, blue. We can slow it down. We can speed it up. So we are good to go. We know we have good connectivity that the unit is properly set up. Now, we're going to make sure we close X lights. And you, of course, need to make sure that you close LORS3 or any of its applications, such as the network monitor or watcher. All right. Now, what we're going to do is first start off by just opening up Madrix. Once Madrix opens, we'll need to configure the output. So what we'll do here, bring this down, we'll go to Preferences, Device Manager. You can see that this device has already been picked up when we go to Rescan for Devices. Now, if you take the Acta dongle directly out of the box and scan, you'll notice that it does not appear here. Now, to correct that, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a program called Improg. Now, there's additional information on the Acta dongle page on how to use Improg, and Improg is simply an application from FTDI, which is the chip used inside the dongle to convert serial to the data for the dongle. So we're going to go ahead and run that application. That application appears. We simply go to Tools, Read and Parse. Now, in this particular case, you can see that it says FTD, FT245R. Now, yours will not show Manufacturer Intech. It'll show FTDI, and it will show something else here. What you want to do is change the manufacturer to Intech with two Ts, all capitals. That is E-N-T-T-E-C. And you want to put US DMX space USB space Pro, all uppercase, just as shown here. And if you want, you can go up here, click a check mark, and put in a serial number up to eight digits. Okay, once you have that, go ahead and click Save. It doesn't matter. You can go ahead and just save it as anything. You have to save it before it will allow you to flash the dongle. So we're going to go ahead and say Programming All Existing Devices. At this point, you can see that it says Program. And now it will show up as the Intech. We're going to go ahead and restart Madrix. And when we come into Madrix, we will be able to detect the Intech Pro dongle. So we'll go to Device Manager. And you can see here when we rescan the Intech Pro. Now the serial number does not show up correctly because this is not an actual real Intech Pro but uh, you can see that it detects it as being an Intec Pro. So once we've got it configured, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, come over here. I'm gonna change this to 255. You can see uh, that it outputs. Here in the center is the actual output. I've left out a lot here. You will need to consult other uh, setup guides or Madrix documentation on how to set up the matrix within Madrix. But as you can see, we can put in the numbers and they do map correctly. You can see the output working properly here. That's how you configure Madrix for use with the Acta dongle from Holiday Coro.